Hello everyone, welcome again. Today we will learn how to use Java JSC H library to interact with SFTP server. Basically put the files to SFTP server and get the files from the server. If you don't know what an SFTP server is, it's a file transfer protocol for transferring large files over the web. And JSC H library which we are gonna use is the Java implementation of SSH that allows to connect to server and transfer files. Let me create a new Java class. I'll call it SFTP get put initiate main and add variables to our Java program. Local path is the path to my lo local file storage. I created a folder named testing SFTP and it's in desktop. Let me give the full path to my file users username followed by desktop then testing SFTP. I am giving folder name and file name separately. File name is survey.csv. We can see the file here. And SFTP path is the path at my SFTP location. I will give this letter. I will show it to you the path, username, host, and everything. And I will add them here. And SFTP host, the URL or the IP address to the SFTP host. SFTP port basically it should be 22 and in real time use cases it also changes. Username and password. For testing purpose I created a trial version of SFTP server online using files.com. Here are my SFTP parameters. Let me add these to my code. SFTP host, username on port is 22. And password. And the path to my destination folder at SFTP. It's loading. login and see the path inside home it's testing sftp folder which i created next we need to add the jsch dependency we may now open the uh, maven repository and look for jsch library so here is the dependency copy the dependency and paste it in your form.xml in case you are using sbt kind of project you can also do the sbt kind of it Let's reload the project uh, reloading and indexing done now import the library i am importing uh, home.jcraft.jsch.everything star i need jsch session channel and channel sftp I will now initiate a try catch block because session will have exceptions which need to be handled. I am giving general exception E. Here we add exception on just the print stack trace. And now Let's initiate the JSCH variable, new JSCH, and create a session using this JSCH. Session is JSCH dot get session for the user on the host on the port. It's integer value of as I declared it as string. We can also declare direct integer here and set password for my session. Before that, we also need to uh, set a parameter called strict 
first key checking as no if you don't set this it will go and check the sftp url in known host as we are not adding that to known host we are giving this option as no here and i would like to print something after the session connect let me print uh, session is getting connecting or session is connected here i will give connecting so that we can see what's happening in the logs let me name it uh, established sftp session and we need to open a channel to the session I mean channel using the session the channel type is sftp on the channel sftp should be initiated on this channel and connect we connected now whatever we need to do inside the sftp can be written here so basically the channel sftp.get or channel sftp.put to write the files to sftp or to read the files to sftp after this is done we need to close the channel and the session you can use sftp channel dot disconnect and session dot disconnect So let me also print that session is disconnected at this stage. Also, I will add a line here stating that open a SFTP channel. So this is the basic code. Now let's run the code and see if uh, the connection and everything works well then we can write a get and put method run and your code is running connecting established session opened disconnected from sftp right our code is running now let's add sftp put function so that it will copy the file from my local to sftp you can see it's empty now in the sftp server and now i will write sftp channel dot put function and local path followed by file name and target path is sftp path great and let me add uh, print lines to see the progress system out print copied file to sftp so print copying file to sftp before this run and check i am running it Connecting established opened copying file to host. I just have 6 MB file in my local server.csv. It should get copied to host. It should not take much time. Copied and disconnected. Great. Now let's see the SFTP location. Refresh this, and here we go with the file. Six MB done. Now let's do the reverse version of it. Copy the file from SFTP and paste it in our local path. Copying file from host to local. Copied file from host to local. 
let's let's change the path and delete the file at our local path. And it should be get. Comment these things out. Open the local path. Move this file to bin. And now let's run the code and check if the file gets copied to the local again. It's connecting, connected, copying file from host to local. Yeah, the temp file. And done, you can see the file here and logo changed. And it's 5.9 MB. Okay. So here we are done with uh, SFTP file transfer. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up to encourage me. Thank you. Bye bye.